Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new project which is called Chat All, and it's an open source project off of GitHub that provides users with the ability to concurrently chat with various different types of chatbots, including ChatGPT, Bing Chat, yeah, Bard, Vicuna, Alpaca, Claude, and many more. Now, this platform allows users to ask questions and receive the best answers from any of the available chatbots. Now, with Chat All, users can enjoy the convenience of having multiple chatbots at their disposal, which makes it so much easier to get the answers that you actually need. Now, this chatbot is available on Chat All, and it uses different technologies as well as different approaches to actually actually provide answers to user questions. Now, giving you the actual diverse range of answers in different types of forms and this is something that we can see in this sample image over here you can ask it a question and you can give it a prompt and from this you can get different types of responses with the different models all in one like app so this is quite amazing and this is something that i'm going to be showcasing in today's video i'm not only going to be going over as to the features as well as analysis but i'm also going to be showing you guys how do you can actually install it it's fairly easy and i highly recommend that you play around with this it's completely free so if you have any issues or if you're scared to actually check it out uh it's completely free and it's completely uh for like private and there's no issues regarding installing it onto your actual local desktop so with that thought before we actually get into the video i want to have a tell you guys about this newest announcement and that's my new twitter account on this page guys this is where i'm going to be posting all the latest updates about the channel as well as giving you guys more insight on different ai projects so if you want to be up to date with the latest stuff make sure you guys follow this account I'll leave the link in the description below. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. Turn on the notification bell and like the video, guys, as it will definitely help the algorithm. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, it would mean the whole world to me, guys, if you guys can do so, as there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. So guys, as we talked about the start, one of the most standout features of Chat All is the ability to allow users to actually chat with multiple different chatbots at once. This means that you can actually question multiple different chatbots simultaneously. And this is something that we saw in this demo previously. And this is so much easier as you able to basically compare the answer with one chatbot with another chatbot and you can find out which is the best answer that is required for you. Now, obviously there's like one limitation that i'll talk about and that is the api usage as well as the costing so this is something that we'll talk about later on but there's open source platforms like vicuna as well as alpaca which are completely free and doesn't require an api so it's completely free to use so you can utilize those two applications but if you do have a lot of tokens and you're able to actually spend those tokens with the different types of applications then i highly recommend that you do play around with this as you're able to get the best response with something you want and this is something that you can use in certain cases where you want to solve complex different types of answers and you want to get the input of different types of chatbots that will get you the best response and this way you can get the best output now additionally this platform is open source and what makes this so good is that you're able to customize it customize it and suit it to your specific needs so you're able to do it tweak as well as play around with how this application is for your personal needs so its next great feature is the supported bots that are provided with this application and it's something that they're going to be adding on in the future i believe there is a pull request for a hugging face chat bot and then that is something that they're going to be adding very shortly but this platform supports like some of the most popular and powerful bots and that is like chat gpt you have bing chat you have bard you have alpaca vicuna claude chat glm you have moss as well as iFlyTech Spark, as well as Ernie, and many different more, as you can see over here. And they're continuously going to be adding different types of bots sooner or later. And you can see which one requires an API and which one doesn't. So you can get the best answers and free answers from the ones that do not require an API access. And there's also a web access for the different bots. So this way you're able to get actual data from the actual web front now each bot has its own strength and weaknesses obviously and that is depending on their data sets as well as what their lms are trained upon and by using chat all users can basically take advantage as well as the strengths from each bot to get the best possible result 
Now chat all also has a beautiful user interface and this makes it so much easier for you to interact with multiple different bots at once. And this platform is easy to navigate and this is something that I'll be showcasing later on in the video. Now, some of the other features are over here and let me just go a little bit more in depth as to what they're trying to do with these features so that we can get a better idea of how we can run this application. Something that the contributors had added for this project is its quick prompt mode. And this mode basically allows users to send the next prompt without waiting for the previous request to complete. Now this is something that ChatGPT doesn't actually have. And it's quite annoying because if you send in a prompt and you want to get the next prompt queued up right away, you can't actually send it until that finishes generating the previous prompt. And this is something that they've done and it stops you from waiting from sending the next request. Now, another amazing feature is this local chat history and chat all stores all chat history locally on your desktop. And it's something that is like basically sent to the chat file on your program files. So once you install the application, it develops a new folder in which it can store the data. And this is what basically helps you easily like preserve your chat data and history. So you don't have to like worry about losing it. Another highlight is its actual response highlighting and detection. And what this means is that users can highlight and response to respond to the text that they like and delete the ones that they actually don't. And this helps like whatever user track the answer that they find most useful. And basically you're able to like get rid of the actual filtered, like irrelevant response so that you don't have to basically waste your time on the different responses. And this is one of the main features that we can see in their actual application. I'll showcase you that. And one of the last features I wanted to talk about is the automatic chat GPT session management. And what this means is that chat all can automatically keep chat GPT sessions alive, which can help improve response times and reduce delays. So you don't have to actually close the device and you don't have to actually refresh to get the access again. And there's different features like bot management as well as multiple view options. And there's also even multi-language support, which supports multiple different languages, including Chinese and English. And there's different recommendation, recommendations that you can use. And these, this is something that they talked about with Todo. And this is a feature that is currently in development. And it's something that they're going to be talking about very shortly. Now, let's get on to the next focus where we talk about some of the prerequisites before we actually download this application. So as we talked about, we have different models that have their own API access and to get access of those different like bots, you're going to have to have the actual API key that has tokens on it so that you're able to basically utilize those bots. You have to have a reliable network connection to these bots so that you're able to connect to the web front. And lastly, if you're a user that is using a VPN, it must be set as a system slash global proxy. This is because chat all actually needs to use the same network connection as the actual VPN to access the bots APIs. And if the VPN is not actually set to the system global proxy, this means that chat all may not be able to connect to the bots properly. And this is something that you want to keep in mind before you actually use it. And in terms of these three prerequisites, once you have that figured out, we can get onto the next folder or the next session, which we talk about installing it locally. So at this current moment, you can install it on three different processors. You have Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You can easily do this by clicking on this repo link. And what it'll do is take you to the actual release links. And they actually post different release notes as to the different like uh, postings that they have for each update. Now, in this case, you can get the latest version over here. Once you click on this, you will get these different assets and you can click on which one that you want that is required for your processor. In my case, I have a Windows 64 X processor. So what I did is I just click on this link and I'll finish installing. And once that is done, you can click easily click on this link and it will give you to the Windows protected page. What you can do is you can bypass that by clicking on the actual more info. And from this, you can click run it anyway. And once that is done, it will actually install the actual application onto your desktop. So in this case, I already did this, so I'm not going to show you that once again. But in, what you can do is then you can search it up by doing chat all and you can get this application. It will look exactly like this. What you can do is click enter and you can load it up easily as that. Now, let me just show you some of the things that you can do. And this is going to be the next focus of the video. So before we actually get into that, I'm going to post my API key 
and then that way we can actually start utilizing the different tools so guys i'm going to be showing you guys this api key uh so what one thing i want to keep in mind like for you guys is that if you're going to be utilizing this make sure you change the key right after you use the application because in certain cases yeah it might be trustworthy to use it but for your own safety and just for like extra precaution just change up the key and you can just do that by revoking the key access so that once you're finished using it no one else can use your actual tokens so in my case i'm just going to show you guys this obviously and i'm going to delete it after but i'm going to basically go over here onto the actual application and what you can do is go on the right side of the actual app click on this gear button and what you can do here is that you can start inputting your different api keys that you want to input you can actually log into the actual account obviously i completely trust this application so i'm going to be able to do this but in, if you're actually skeptic about it you don't if you, and if you don't feel like you want to trust this it's at your own discretion so do it at what you think is best for your own like well-being as well as your own well-being for your api keys now in my case i'm just going to paste it over here once that is done you can basically log into chat gpt if you want and if you have the paid gpt for access or if you're a plus member then you can actually utilize gpt4 off of this actual chatbot now once that is done you can actually go click on this and you can start using and utilizing the different apps now if you can see i haven't actually inputted any of the different like aps for these different things like microsoft as well as alpaca or the different ones that are provided but in this case you can see that vicuna as well as the different ones are free so you can utilize these different ones but in terms of things that require you to input an API key and when you click on it it'll tell you that you'll need to put in the API key but for the ones that don't you can just click on them and you can see that most of them in this case I have my API key so let's see if I can get this working perfect so I think that's all but now what I'll do is I'll write in a prompt in this case I'll say write me a story on uh sorry guys brain fart there but basically i just asked it write me a story on my friend who became a successful investor and you can see this amazingly working on the back end now it's able to do this by utilizing the different api keys as well as the different chatbots and we can see that it's slowly starting to work towards these different ones vicuna is slowly starting to work on it now let's see if alpaca is able to do it as well as chat glm but you can get a gist of this guys you can have different views as to how this application can look you can get it on a grid view as well as a split screen view i personally like this one because you're able to see everything as you scroll now you can also play around and tweak with the different things over here and this is how you can actually utilize these different things on this tool and if you want to actually clear the actual messages you can click on this and it will prompt you to close as well as delete the messages that you have now this is absolutely amazing because you can utilize different chatbots and overall you can meet different types of needs that you want with the different chatbots and that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you found this video quite helpful for you guys it's like in my opinion, I definitely see that Chat All is an innovative platform and it provides so much to the users with the ability to concurrently chat with different various chatbots. Now, this is something that I'll definitely be utilizing as it's completely free. And I actually talked about it on my Twitter. So if you guys haven't seen this, definitely recommend that you check it out. Um, I post all the latest different news on different AI projects. So definitely keep a follow on this and you'll get the latest news right away from my end. So with that thought, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video quite entertaining and you got something out of this. And with this thought, I'll catch you guys next time. Have an amazing day. Have a bright smile and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace out, fellas.